We begin live at 5, tracking developing news tonight. It's official. Scott Abadijan has confirmed that he will indeed step down from his post as mayor of Warwick to take on a new role with RIPTA. We broke the news uh, on his suspected resignation yesterday. Today, Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian spoke with Abadijan as well as the man who will be stepping in to fill the mayor's shoes in the interim. Kim joins us live in studio with more. Well, Mike Shannon, that's right. Abadishan confirmed today he will be stepping down to take on that new role at RIPTA, one that the governor recommended him for. But he says he's going to remain the mayor until the end of May to avoid a special election in the city. Now, the vote from RIPTA came down around 2 o'clock this afternoon, the board voting unanimously to make their former chairman their new CEO. Abadishan heading to RIPTA after 18 years as mayor. He says it was a bittersweet decision, but he says it was time for a change. He says there have been other times He's considered leaving City Hall to either run for lieutenant governor or take a job in the private sector. But now with major projects like the city center and Appenog circulator in place, he says the opportunity seemed to come at the perfect time. But he says saying goodbye to the city isn't that easy. Yeah, I think whenever you walk away from something that you've put your heart and soul into, it's emotional. And, um, you know, the, someone from the Chamber of Commerce came over today and, uh, you know, we've worked, we've had weekly meetings for 18 and a half years. That's hard to just walk away from all of that. But, you know, I think you know when it's time and, and it's time to do something. Uh, it's, it's time for a new challenge. And by avoiding a special election, City Council President Joe Solomon will become the acting mayor once Avedesian steps down. We spoke with Solomon this afternoon as well, and he says he will be running for mayor this fall. We'll have more from him coming up new at 6. Reporting live in studio, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News. But we begin with developing news. Warwick Mayor Scott Avedesian has made it official. He will eventually step down to become the new CEO of RIPTA. And this means Rhode Island's second largest city will soon be under new leadership for the first time in nearly two decades. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian spoke to Mayor Avedesian this afternoon. She joins us live from the newsroom. Kim? Well, Mike and Shannon, Mayor Abadijan says today he's not the first Warwick mayor to leave before the end of his term. As you might remember, former mayor and former governor Lincoln Chafee did the same thing back in 1999 when he was appointed to the U.S. Senate. The difference this time, though, Abadijan is getting out of public office for now. Time of your life to Long-serving Warwick morning. Mayor Scott Abadijan says the time was right. This was just perfect timing. The Republican plans to step down next month to become the CEO of the Rhode Island Public Transit Authority. The RIPTA board voting unanimously Wednesday afternoon to give their former chairman the agency's top job. More than half of my life um, I've been connected to this building, so it's a little, um, it's a little different feeling, but um, RIPTA has a great, great possibilities. By staying in office until late May, Avedesian hopes to avoid a special election, meaning City Council yeah. President Joe Solomon would become acting mayor until a permanent mayor is elected in the fall. I plan not only on serving the next six months for the citizens of the city of Warwick and showing them what I mean and what I'm about, but I would hope and I'm announcing today that I will be running for mayor. Avedesian's time serving the city spans nearly three decades. He was a city councilman before succeeding Lincoln Chafee as mayor in 2000. He says today's decision is bittersweet. That's hard to just walk away from all of that. But, you know, I think you know when it's time and, and it's time to do something. Uh, it's, it's time for a new challenge. And Avedesian told us today there were other times in the past where he considered leaving City Hall either to join the private sector or to run for the office of lieutenant governor. He also says today he's not necessarily closing the door on future political campaigns. Live in the newsroom, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.